guys, today we are going to be doing something that I've kind of been wanting to do for a long time and you guys seem like you really wanted me to do this as well. So we are going to be playing with some loose pigments. This is something that I'm very uncomfortable with and something that I haven't really played around with a lot. So I don't know how this is going to go. I could make a complete mess. I probably should not have done my face makeup first, but here we are. And so I've kind of picked out some that I thought would go nicely together. So I have one pigment, actually I have two pigments from Kiko. We're going to be trying these out. This is a matte neon pink and then we have a shimmery kind of green shade. And then I also have one from Ammo Cosmetics, which is kind of like a... How do I even explain this? I don't even know if you can see this, but it's sort of like a kind of red shade. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it would look kind of cool with the pink. So we're gonna probably be using this and I also have one from Too Faced, which this thing is so beautiful. I cannot believe that I haven't used this. So let me just like show you a quick swatch of this because this is so beautiful. Oh, like look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing in the world? So I probably have to use some glitter glue with some of these. I haven't really decided. I kind of have a look in mind. I don't think I want to do anything like super difficult so probably what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this neon pigment in my crease and then I'm gonna pop this kind of reddish uh, shimmery pigment on my lid and then do the green in the inner corner and then I'll maybe pop some of the Too Faced on top of my lid as well. I don't really know. So I'm just gonna start by priming my eyes I guess with my MAC Paint Pot as always even though it's not like super sticky so maybe I should use my P. Louise base instead but we're gonna try with the MAC Paint Pot just kind of see how that goes. And it's so nice to be back to filming because I've been sick for the past like three days or so so all the videos that you have seen were pre-filmed and I'm just now finally getting back into filming and that feels so good so if it sounds like I'm a little bit stuffed up, that's why, because I'm still a little bit sick. I don't feel too bad though, thank god, and this cold only lasted like three days, so that's way shorter than a cold usually lasts, so I'm not complaining at all. But it's always nice to be back to filming again after you've been kind of gone for a while. And I have some really exciting videos coming up as well. I was so lucky to get sent some PR from a fragrance net with the bunch of Betsy Johnson stuff so I'm gonna do a whole dedicated video just trying out Betsy Johnson makeup. I'm so excited. A lot of the stuff looked so cool and if you saw my Instagram stories I did like a haul unboxing or PR unboxing I guess that sounds so weird to say but it was I was so grateful and it was so much fun to see all the stuff that they had in the collection and I can't wait to try it all so I'll probably try to film that in a couple of days. I was going to film it today but then I realized that I hadn't charged my battery for my camera so I don't think I would have enough time on my camera to actually film all of that footage because that video was going to be quite long and there will be a lot of swatches and stuff so I thought I would just sit down and kind of film this one instead because it's not going to take an hour to film so I should have enough battery. So that is the plan, that is what we're doing, that's what the situation is like right now and so I think we should get into these pigments now. I am quite excited. So, we're just going to take this Kiko one, and I guess I will just start by putting this into my crease. I need to open this, see how this looks. So it looks like it's got a little cap here, so my friend said to be careful when opening these because they are fully packed, so let's see. I'm trying not to make a mess here, but I cannot promise anything. Alright, so that is extremely tightly packed. That looks very neon though, so I'm quite excited. I think I'm gonna just put a little bit of this into the cap to make it easier for- Whoa, that was a lot. <laughs> When you say you're just putting a little bit in the cap and then the whole thing pretty much falls out. Oh well, okay, so I guess I will find a little packing brush and try to do this with. So I'm dipping my brush into this and I'm tapping it off a lot, so I'm picking up about this much. I, Like I said, I've never worked with loose pigments before, so I don't really know how this is going to go, but I'm basically just going to start by packing this into my crease. And this is extremely powdery. Doesn't seem to be sticking too well to my eyes, but we'll see. I guess I'm just going to pack this all over my lid to make it a bit easier for myself and just kind of see how pigmented this is. I'm gonna leave some room in my inner corner here because I do think I'm gonna use that green one. I mean, so it's packing on okay, but it's definitely shearing out and it doesn't look as vibrant on my eyes as it does in the pan. I'm also going to pull this down to my lower lash line. I don't know how well it's going to stick down there, but hopefully I'll be able to 
get a little bit of color still. I do find that the neon pigments that I've tried in the past, which, I mean, to be fair, they were shit, but they all needed something very, very tacky to grip onto to be able to stay on the eye, so I don't know how this is going to go on the lower lash line. Now, if you hear my stomach making sounds, it's just because I just had a can of soda and sometimes that happens, so sorry, not sorry. So you can see at first when I'm packing this on, it deposits a lot of color. But as soon as I go in and start blending, so that definitely goes away. But it doesn't look too bad. I do definitely have a little bit of fallout though, which I feel like is to be expected with loose pigments because it's hard to really control how much you're picking up. So first impression wise, I feel like it's just a little bit powdery. Like I feel like it's just sitting on top of my skin and it's not blending into my skin that much. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't feel like this lays on my eye the same way that other matte shadows usually do. Uh, we're gonna see what happens so when I go in with some of that other pigment on top of this. And I'm gonna just wing this out a bit, I guess, because Shadow just kind of wanted to do that. Um, I can't say I love how this is looking, honestly. I'm just gonna try to take a bit of a fluffier brush and just kind of go over the edges here and get a bit of a better blend. And I do feel like it just kind of doesn't really want to stick everywhere. I don't know how well you can actually see that on camera. Like, it's not terrible. I just feel like it's not laying that nicely on my eyes. But we're going to just ignore that. And I'm going to try to dump the rest of this <laughs> into the bottle again. Because now I have everything in the cap. And I'm probably going to make a mess. Alright, so that didn't go too badly. I definitely have some pink all over my hands. But thankfully we have some makeup remover wipes. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, as soon as I've kind of wiped off all of that pink that I just got on me again, I'm going to take my Ammo Cosmetics pigment, and this is called... Vain Glory? That's a very strange name. Is that like a reference that I'm supposed to know? Vain Glory? I have no idea. I've never heard of that. Let me see if I can get you a swatch of this pigment as well. Man, pigments are so messy. <laughs> Or maybe I just suck at them. But basically this is what the pigment looks like. So it's almost like a red-purple duochrome. It's really, really pretty. So I guess what I'll do is... Do I need a glitter glue with this? I think I should be okay just spraying it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I ran out of my Fix Plus, at least the bottle that I have in this room. So I'm going to use my Amorphe setting spray. I don't know how this is going to go. So I've coated my brush here and I'm just going to... Spray this and then I guess we're just gonna pop it on the eye and see what happens So I'm just gonna go over basically my whole eyelid here I mean, This is pretty but I don't feel like it's as impactful as I kind of thought it would be I think I like using the Morphe spray on my eyes. I feel like it's making my eyes sting a little bit. So I probably need to buy a new Mac Fix Plus because that is just, I don't know, that just works really well for me and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. Not that I really know if it's the pigment or the spray that's annoying my eyes, but I feel like it's probably the setting spray. I can't imagine otherwise. So let me just do this eye real quick. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not loving it. I don't know if it's a combination between the pink and the pigment or if it's the application that I just don't really like that much, but I'm not blown away, not gonna lie. So I think I am going to take this Too Faced one. Uh, I feel like I should probably put down some glitter glue with this because I don't know if I could really just spray this and pop it on my eyes. Man, that setting spray is just not agreeing with my eyes at all, so that's kind of a shame. Um, let me find some glitter glue. And I'm just taking some of this on my fingers and I'm going to basically just pack this all over my lid. It's so weird to do anything with my left hand. I feel like my left hand is just like so retarded and doesn't know what it's doing. 
Okay, so before this dries, so I'm gonna go into my Too Faced one. This is called Snow Fairy, but I don't think this is available anymore. I'm pretty sure I bought this as like a holiday set a couple years ago, I wanna say. And I'm just picking this up on a bit of a fluffy brush because I don't want like a ton of this and I'm just going to pack this on top. That is really pretty. See, this I think I like. And I say I don't want a lot and then I go in with a full brush because this is just too pretty not to. So I like how this is looking on top of that other pigment. Actually a lot better than that pigment on its own. Man, I love this. Ooh, this is so pretty. I need to use this on top of something else. Because this is beautiful. Wow, that was actually so easy too. Dang, okay, I'm starting to like this a lot more now. Too Faced to the rescue, who would have thought? So I guess what I'll do next is I'm going to take that other pigment from Kiko. Not super happy about using that, but I don't think I have really anything else that I can use. I feel like it's just Oh, really laying that well in my crease. Maybe I, if I can blend this out a little bit more. Sorry if I'm a bit all over the place, but like I said, it's been a while since I've filmed and also this is just a little bit overwhelming. Not overwhelming, it's just like I feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> and I feel like all the pigment under my eye is basically gone. It's not sticking very well to my eye at all. Okay, anyway, let's go in with green now. This one is called number 14. I don't know what the neon one was called. Number 20. I guess they don't have any names. All right, so let me open this now. I really hate how messy this is. And so this is a shimmery green. It reminds me a lot of the jelly mud shadow that I have from ColourPop. So how do I do this? I guess I'm just going to dip my brush into it and then spray my brush. Man, this thing is so crumbly. Hopefully this is going to look better on the eye than it does on my brush. So I'm just going to pop that in here where I don't have anything yet. Oh, and that's really pretty. Wow, that actually has some glitter in it too. I was not expecting that. Also just gently wrapping it around a bit to my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna try to blend all of these colors together here gently. And this is my Morphe E, wait, how did I forget the name of that brush? That's how long it's been since I've filmed. This is the Morphe M149 brush and I love this for my inner corner. I actually really like this pigment. I like this so much more than I like that neon green. <laughs> neon green. <laughs> neon pink, there we go. Ah, <sighs> man. It's been a long three days, you guys. Alright, so I think this is looking as good as it's going to get. Next, I need to put something in my water light, and I got a very exciting package from ColourPop the other day, and I, I'm such a sucker because I ended up buying this whole set of ColourPop liners. So now I have all of them, which is very exciting. So I can only use one of these that I haven't used before, and I actually have like probably half of these in my collection already, but I wanted to get these to see if they had kind of improved the packaging and also because I actually go through these and I've had to repurchase colors several times. So one of you asked if I was going to do a video on these, but I don't even really know how I can make a video on these. I don't want to just do like a swatching video because there are swatches of these everywhere, so I don't know. I feel like I probably will not make a video on these. I'm just going to add them to my collection and just use them every time I do my makeup like I always do. So what do I want to do with this? Do I kind of want to use that turquoise one? Could that be kind of pretty? I feel like I already have a liner like that though. Maybe I'll try something new. Maybe I want to try the orange. Ooh, I think that could be kind of cool. Let's do that. So this is called Unts. Does anybody know what that means? I don't. So let me see. At least it's not falling out of the packaging. So I mean, that's a good start because a lot of the other <laughs> color purple liners do that. Let me show you a little swatch too, just to see. Hmm. These don't really match. Am I the only one who thinks so? This is definitely more of a coral than an orange. That's quite disappointing, to be honest. Maybe I'll see what the other orange looks like. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that was going to be a very, very neon orange. This is so weird because this one is punch, which should be the same as 
this one and they look quite different to me on the cap so let's just swatch them and see if they are okay so in the tube this definitely looks a lot more like the punch that I'm used to okay so this one is the yellow one I suppose let's swatch this compared to the other yellow that I already have in my collection this has a little bit of black on it so okay let's see so this one is actually like a bit more yellow and this one is more orange it looks like I am extremely confused right now because these two have the same name, but they don't look like the same shades. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I will use... Okay, I'm just going to go with Zulu because I have not tried this one yet. I think this is new to the collection. So let's see what this one looks like. So I feel like this is very similar to the LA Girl liner. I know you guys didn't sign up for swatches of eye pencils, but that's what we're doing. So. Sorry, not sorry, but this, oh, those are very, very different. So this one's a lot darker. This is the LA Girl one in the shade Fresh. So as you can see, the Colourpop one is definitely more on the lighter side. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this in my waterline. Um, let me just do it on camera. Let's just test it out and see if it's the same formula as the other ones. And it seems to be because that went in really easily. So I just can't get over how just kind of patchy this is looking in the crease here. Like it seems like it's stuck in one spot and then as soon as I try to blend it out, like that part just sticks right here and whatever I'm trying to blend out just blends away and it just looks really patchy. And I don't like this pigment so I'm actually going to just kind of declutter the pigments that I try as I go here. So I'm not going to keep this because I don't think this is very good, I'm sorry. Um, as for the pigment that I put on my lid, I don't think I'll be reaching for it again. Uh, you know, it's kind of pretty, but I just, I can't see myself ever using this. I will, however, use the Too Faced Glitter. This is beautiful, I love that. I love the kind of sparkle and topper that this can be. This doesn't have to be just used on its own like the other pigment, but this is more, more of a topper and I really like that, so I'm going to keep that and I'm going to get rid of this because I just I don't like this so we're just gonna kind of continue the decluttering as we go if you haven't already seen all of my declutters I would link those in the corner for you but I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen those already so I guess this is going to kind of sum up that eye look I'm so sorry about my dog barking but he was just in the pool with my husband and he's really excited right now so I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my eyes and I will be right back Alright, so I think the eye look is all done. On my lower lashes, I put on the Kiss and Teal mascara by Colourpop, and I also tried a new mascara. I tried the Power Up mascara by Butter London. I didn't like this. I had to go over with my Bad Gal Bang because, I don't know, there's something about this wand. You would think I would like this because it's like really nice and spiky, just like my Bad Gal Bang, but I found that the wand is just like too thick and the bristles are too short, and I wasn't really able to get a lot of product on my lashes, and... Just like the whole curve thing and the whole applicator being too thick. I don't know. I didn't like it. So I'm also going to declutter this. So as you can see, I'm like pretty harsh when it comes to wanting to get rid of stuff. Especially now that I just decluttered everything. I want to try to keep my collection as curated to the stuff that I like as possible. So if I try something once and I don't like it, I'm not the kind of person who will try to make it work as much as I can. I usually just get rid of it and I use the stuff that I love because I... Yes, it might be wasting money, but at the same time, I don't like using stuff that I don't like using. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the ammo pigment, the red one that I put on my lid. And I'm also going to declutter my other pigment, the neon pink one. So that will be the end of the eye look. I do want to try one of the uh, glosses that I got from Colourpop, but I don't think this is going to go with the look. So I ended up getting one of these So Juicy glosses. So... I kind of want to just put this on to like see what the texture is like and then if it doesn't go with the look, which it clearly won't, um, I might take it off after, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep this on because I'm going to eat lunch after, so I'm going to take this off anyway. So let me just put this on because I want to try it. Okay, so I'm getting this everywhere because I suck at applying anything from a tube. I mean, I would definitely want to have a lip liner or something to go with this because it doesn't have a lot of color to it, but the texture feels nice. It's quite sticky, but it's not like the bad kind of sticky, if that makes sense. Like it sticks to your lips, but it doesn't like stick your lips together. I don't know, that probably made no sense at all. It looks nice and juicy and it looks very wet. So I wanna say I like this. I'm definitely going to have to, actually it doesn't even look that bad with this look because this is way more neutral than I thought this would be looking at it in the tube. So 
yeah, I like this quite a bit. It's also kind of like a minty feeling, so I can see why people rave about these. These are kind of nice. I like this. So I think that is going to sum up the video. Um, I feel like I've made my opinions pretty clear on the product that I've used since I decluttered some of them, but the favorite thing that I discovered in this video was for sure the Too Faced kind of topper one. I think this is so beautiful. I don't know how well you can really see it on my eyes. I will zoom you in, obviously, as always, so you can really see the close-ups, but I really like this. I think this is so beautiful, and I can't wait to use this again on top of other looks. So yeah, I think that's going to sum up this video. Thank you so much to you guys for letting me know that you wanted to see me play with some pigments because this was fun and this is something that you know i i like trying things that make me a little bit uncomfortable just to see if i can make it work and to see if maybe i will end up loving it more than i thought so you know i did find some new products here that i really like i also like this green pigment that i have in my inner corner i think that is beautiful so i think that's going to sum up this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this i don't have a ton of pigments but i still would like to keep playing with the ones that i do have and a lot of you suggested to pull in a pigment every time I do a palette bingo or something like that and I think that's a fabulous idea so I might do that in my next palette bingo so yeah thank you so much for watching this video as always if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one bye